Here, we'll pack a little, th little bit of everything in this video. I know a guy that wants all this stuff on YouTube. Not the cat. But, uh, this is what I got. Some oak lamp stuff and uh, a couple other little things. That, uh, one pull clamp, a couple chain couplers, different connectors. Stuff, strip power puller, some plates, chain with the plates, two good size mo clamps there, a little one, a bigger one, top of the rail, bottom of the rail, whatever you want, you can do a lot with that one. There's a plunger. Another little hook, clevis, some European uh, hooks, that one's uh, well used. Uh, big quarter panel tool, and then a quarter panel junior, and then I'll have one frame machine chain here. You know, a real chain that's made to uh, pull shit with, and then this one here you can uh, bolt those plates, bolt this to the plate. Or you can weld this plate to the uh, panel that you want to pull. That's what I got. So let me know. Make me an offer. I don't even want to put a price on the stuff. I'm not going to use it anymore. If uh, it's a reasonable offer, I'll ship it to you. If it's not, we'll just throw it in the bottom of the toolbox and we'll still be friends. And if you need to use any of it, any at all, and you don't want to buy it, you just want me to ship it to you so you can use it, I can do that too. So here's uh, the tranny, got it apart today. Ooh, it's pretty damn dark over here. Might need a flashlight for this operation. But, uh... <laughs> That's not our flashlight. Well, maybe enough juice to show you. Maybe. Anyway, I'm gonna have to order uh There, if I don't make a shadow, it's not too bad. You can see the piece right there is broken. It's a plate that bolts to the uh, gearbox that holds the linkage. So everything seems to shift now that the uh, linkage is off. All the uh, individual rods move in their corresponding locations. And you can see this piece that's broken right here. There's one piece of it, the broken piece, and there's where it bolts right there. Look at all the peen marks around that bearing. They peen that uh, main shot bearing in. I know, that's scary. But he's been driving it like that. So I need to get, uh, you know, that piece obviously. And then we're going to have to get a gasket kit. Nobody in town has a gasket kit or a main shaft seal for an 091. And this one definitely needs to be resealed. Because it's puking all the fluid out the back of it. And the nose cone was dumping it out pretty hard. And uh, so I'll have to pull the gearbox out, put a gasket on it, clean it all up. We can see what gears it has in it. Count the ring and pinion, seal the bell housing area. There's a gasket back there. Basically just uh, brushing it up and repair the broken pieces. Most people would call that a rebuild, but we're just going to repair it. <coughs> There's a the motor over there hanging out. Everything's good on it. Flywheel seal's nice and dry. All that oil was gear leaving the uh, bell housing, so I'll we'll have to deal with that. He wants to put a shifter in it, some couplings, and uh, should be really nice. It'll shift really sweet. So uh, let's make a little different kind of video here. So it might be a little long. Four minute intro. Hans is waiting. Hans set me up with one of his uh, uh, Hans Brady design uh, vlogging lights. He's a professional vlogger. I'm just an amateur at this. So here's a, what's that? You're supervising your expensive light bulbs. 
So we're gonna do a little barbecuing because I'm concerned, man. I'm worried about my buddies in Canada. I see my buddy Adam go to the beer store, and I love that. We don't really have a beer store here. We have like a, a liquor store, and they sell beer, and you can buy beer anywhere here. That's why so many people are drunk and driving weird. But uh, I'm concerned about the steaks that I see Adam get. You know, he never seems to have a proper steak. And uh, I thought I'd just grill some of these bad boys up for you on the barber crew tonight. So we've been trying to do this new thing in the Brady house in 2015 and that's eat at home as a family at the dinner table and uh, the kids are sort of having a hard time getting used to it I think. Hey Dad, yeah. You can spread those tongs or little pots of feet off the back. Well what? It is out. It is out. So, oh, push it in. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, just backwards. But anyway, sorry, I had a little interruption from my camera crew there. There's some fillets for me. I like that kind. I had him cut these today for me. Uh, yeah, Andrea's first day on the job too, so she's got to eat good tonight. But, uh, yeah, we picked these up at Publix. They have some really nice meat there, and if you don't have what you want, you can just. Uh, Ask the butcher for him. There you go, assistant. Bring that back clean, will you? My assistant is having a hard time tonight grabbing my stuff, but I don't know what the problem is. What's going on with her? So, uh, I'll see a little shrimp on the bobby, eh? Hans likes that about as much as uh, my buddy Ziggy <laughs> said he does not sound like that. <laughs> so, there we go. Is that to uh, the plate assistant? So, there we go. We got some uh, stuff in there. We're gonna put that lid down and uh, let that get nice and warm. Sear in there. Now you're just looking at the grill, that's no fun. Have Hans edit it. Have Hans edit it. I don't edit my videos, are you kidding me? Is that I my just, plate, plate assistant? I just did that so you could put the shrimp on the grill. So we got the uh, plate there. Really, man, you're, you're having a hard you're time. On the board. You're just having a hard time. There we go, that's probably better. I don't, I don't know, I'm just thinking that the light would be better that way. You can screw it on. I can, but I know I'm right in the frame. See, I've been doing this a while. Oh, and I know that light sort of messes with the camera. That's because you're only doing one point lighting. One point lighting? You're supposed to do three point lighting. Two at 45 degree angles slightly behind the camera and one overhead. Overhead? Yeah. You need an overhead camera light guy? No, I just... We're gonna go back to the grill here in a minute because you don't want to look at me. Should I start the broccoli? Start the broccoli? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can do that. Go ahead and steam that up. Put a little butter and a little salt there in the uh, water. Okay. So do it like doesn't stick. Hmm? Do you like that light for cooking? Other than it makes you look like a ghost, it's not bad here. Here, you want to get in? The, <laughs> you want to get in the camera? <laughs> Yeah. Huh? There you go, little ghost. It doesn't make it look like a ghost, it's a sunlight bulb. Sunlight. It's oh. skin tone. It's like being at the beach. No, that's what I look like in the sun. Bright white. It's a bright white. It's not like where that is bright. Alright. Alright, you wanna reposition my light there, cameraman? There you go. We'll just stay on the grill, man. We'll give you the food shot. Some of you guys like the food porn. Yeah, these are uh, ribeyes and some fillets here. You want to really burn that fat up on the 
The ribeye. Oh, don't, yes, you do. Don't flip it to death. Just let it burn. Burn, burn, burn. This is, this is a live TV show. Silent on the set. <laughs> so anyway, hope everybody's having a good night. You still like a ring of fire? Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash on. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, diamonds in the sky? No, I'm okay. No, I'm not gonna do the 45 meter. No. Ribeye's got to stay on that side for a little bit longer, man. Get those right in the heat there. I like my medium. You like what? Like Did you want something to eat? Yeah, one of the fillets. One of the fillets? <laughs> You're not touching my fillets. He's funny. All right, let's flip the shrimp. Oh, boy. Oh, goodness. Huh? Well, yeah, but then you don't get the little grill marks on the shrimp. Yeah. And it's not gonna flip. No, it's a mess. Oh, I didn't like it. Flip it multiple times in the top. Multiple times? Because they keep moving oh, when man. you turn. Come on. There we go. Can I make a suggestion? Sure. Run the tongue down the length of the uh, skewer and grab it and flip it. Or do it that way. Oh, well, I got it stuck in here. That one was uh, no problem there. Alright, we're going to go for the flip on the ribeye. Oh, that's just like a mile like it there. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those look good. Those look good? Oh yeah. See, Haley doesn't like the uh, charred fat. I don't like the fat at all on a steak, but I'm not a ribeye guy. Andrea is. Oh, she's a ribeye guy. Girl. Gal. Gal. You like ribeye too, don't you? No. You don't? No. What do you like? Filet. Really? Oh, we're gonna have a problem here. Yeah, a filet party. Well, we got some ribeyes. We got three fillets there. I call it fillet. And we got fillet. some shrimp. I provided lighting. I'm getting quality meat. We got a nice salad. Oh, we got uh, some nice fresh oh, bread. We got some broccoli that I hand cut. You're using my twenty dollar light bulb. And we're using your twenty dollar light bulb. It just I'll doesn't get any better. Salad. I'll use my meat to get. Oh, you like more fat than the ribeye. A little steak huddle here. I'm gonna put on a loaf. Is that okay? You're putting in a loaf. Hey, this is a this is a PG show. I'm talking about bread. You want me to put in the bread? Yeah, whatever you want to do, Haley. Just go do something. Be happy. Oh, that's yeah. Grab them full length. Yeah. Right on. Yeah, man, look at those steaks. Nice and thick. It'll be nice and pink inside. And... Yummy, yummy. Those cats are trying to get a steak. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. I'm letting a little bit of heat out this way, but that's okay. I like to keep the lid closed. It's a little cold tonight in the 50s. Good barbecue and weather. You should get some clothes on, little girl. I am wearing clothes. Uh, oh, we didn't have fun when she's a teenager. Why is that? Oh, she is wearing clothes. I oh. am. Yep. You know how it is. I would have rather had three boys, but sometimes it doesn't work out that way. So you need more of these lights for the shop. I'm happy to make you some to pay for them. Oh, you want me to pay for them? Yeah, think about these, how good you can get in the shop. You think my viewers really want to see what I'm doing? No, I think you might want to. 
I just always just figured I was blind, but I knew there was a lighting issue. You know. Life's better when you see it. Oh yeah. You want yours bleeding, right? Mm -hmm. One's like his bleeding. There you go, cameraman. Look at that. I'm taking care of my camera crew. <laughs> there. there, dude. What am I going to grab that with? Where's my fork? Oh. Turn that over. That's nice, just like you like it. Coming along nicely. Yeah, I think we're gonna do some steaks and stuff at the YouTube party this year. I don't think we're going for the like barbecue thing again. I don't want to cook the day of, not the night before. That was a disaster. I mean, it worked out, but the more beer we drank, the uh, colder the smoker got. We didn't realize that uh, we had let the uh, thermometer go all the way around. <laughs> so it wasn't cold at all. It was an inferno. But uh, I'm cooked the order this way. How was it? Good. It's good? Just good? Hot. Hot? Hard to hold. Put it in my mouth. It's hot. Raw? Right was it raw? Was it? My definition of good. Your definition of good, so yours is probably done then. I'll just put yours off to the side. Off there. All lonely. Shrimp are done. We're about to start making O's, not C's. O's? Shrimp are done, they're turning to C's. Yeah, those need to go a little longer. These are looking really good right here. Shrimp. Nice. Oh, it's coming along good. Put that one into the fire a little more. the camera man. It's probably done. I'll just get a little color on those. Okay. We're done? Mm -hmm. Alright. That probably needs to go a little longer, buddy. Just saying. So if everybody's doing good tonight, you're hungry, and uh, you're enjoying the barbecue video, I don't do a lot of these anymore. Of course, in summertime we do them. A lot of guys in the garage will uh, cook. I know Satajet likes to uh, Rich, he likes to uh, barbecue. A couple other guys, Mr. Porter there, Greg. He's done some uh, Barbecue videos. Oh, that sounds good. It's got that sear going, you know? I love that. Holds all the juices in. It smells good. It smells good? Yeah. I'm hungry. Alright, you're hungry? Yeah. A little surf and turf. Huh? A little surf and turf. A little surf and turf. I was gonna get Hans a lobster tail, but I didn't do it. Oh, it's flatter. Huh? It's flatter. They didn't look that good. You can't really just bite just the tail, you have to buy a whole lobster. Yeah, the tails look really small. 
and I did buy I did buy the fresh shrimp, not frozen, and uh, peeled and deveined those bad boys. Usually, a lobster tail sold separately was farmed and frozen somewhere else, so it lasts out of season. But it also smaller. All right, I gotta close this for a minute. A little magic happening there for a second. Some magic down here on this plate you can look at. That looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Little shrimp and steak combo. What'd you say? Surf and turfy? Yeah, that's what it's called professionally. Professionally. Surf and turf. Usually seafood on top of a piece of meat with a sauce. I'm just finishing these pieces off in there just to get the sizzle on it and then we'll let it rest. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Do I need to get out the cocktail sauce? Cocktail sauce? It's shrimp on the barbie, man. Whatever you want. You want to dip them in cocktail sauce? Oh, you want to dip them in cocktail? What about me wanting a cocktail? <laughs> cocktail sauce for the shrimp. Sure. Yeah, Alrighty. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's what's for dinner, beef. There we go, the money shot. All right guys, I've bored you long enough.